Now, when you're dealing with corners like this and you sewed something and you need to turn it the right way out like this, one of the things you want to be able to do is to get these corners to come out pointed and crisp and sharp. But usually that won't work out well because the seam allowance and the fabric inside there gets bunched up in the corners and doesn't lay smooth. So what you want to do when you're dealing with corners before you turn them out you take your scissors and then we are going to clip. Now you're going to clip as close to the stitching line as you can get but maintaining a diagonal like this just across the corner like that so you see I go across the corner but I don't cut into the stitching line so I'm going to do that for this corner I'm going to do that for this corner too so that's my two corners clipped down now if you're dealing with very thick fabric this fabric is not it's very light but if you're dealing with thick fabric in addition to clipping the corners you can also trim your seam down to make it less bulky so you just trim it maybe halfway down I don't like taking too much because I don't want the stitching line to come out by accident you still need some seam allowance so just trim That's another thing you can do. You trim it down in half just to make it less. And now you could turn your fabric the right way out. Now I'm going to try and poke the corners up. You use something pointed but not too sharp it could be anything it could even be a pencil but something that's pointed but it's not very sharp you don't want something that's going to tear you through your fabric so don't use your scissors to do this so what I do I just carefully push my corners out right to the tip right to the tip there same here just carefully push my corners out right to the tip so it's not completely out just this fabric is very thin I am in danger of poking through it but here we go so I have my corners out and what I would like to do once I have my corners out is to actually press the fabric in sewing pressing is very important you want to press all the time once you finish sewing it makes your stitching lines crisp it makes your seams crisp and most importantly it melts your stitches into the fabric almost making them become one And you can see now I have my corners out nicely and everything's flat there's no fabric bunching underneath because we've trimmed off all that excess fabric in there so that's how you deal with corners now in regards to curved shapes whether it's an outer curve like this or an inner curve like this when you want to turn it out to the right sides after sewing I'll start with this curve you also have the same issue of bulk so I'm going to turn this the other way 
Now if we want to get this edge to lie smooth, we also have to trim the fabric because you can see the fabric is bunching underneath it. So it's really thick. So what we do with outer curves, you want to reduce the fabric so that when you fold it in, because this is a smaller space, everything lays flat. So what you do is clip the curves and make notches. One way to make a notch is to just cut a triangular shape like that. And that's a notch. Or so you can actually do it like this. You pinch your fabric, just pinch a bit. You pinch and you clip. You pinch. Careful not to cut through your stitching line. You pinch and clip like so. So, those are notches. That's how you make notches. Essentially what you've done is reduce the fabric so that when you turn it right side out, it's less fabric and it's flat. Now with light fabric like this, I can leave it this way. Or if it's thicker, once again, I can just trim the whole thing down just to make it less. So that's what I'm going to do. Let's trim it all down in half. You don't have to trim it if your fabric is very light. But that's one way of doing that. Now that we have it trimmed, we can turn it right side out and see how it comes out. So it's pressed. Once again, note how flat it is. It's flat. It's flat on all sides. And the fabric has spread on the inside because we've trimmed it down and we've cut out some of it to reduce the bulk. So that's how you deal with this type of curves on outer curves. You give notches. Moving on to inner curves like this. Inner curves, this is wider. So what we want to do is give the fabric a chance to spread and to ease when we turn it the other way. In this case, we're not going to notch. Though if you notch, it still has the same effect, but rather what we're going to do is clip. We're going to clip the curves. So you're just going to make little cuts along the edge. As always, you don't go through the stitching line. I'm just making little cuts. Like that. Careful not to go through the line. Always be careful not to go through your stitching line. That's the most important thing. The more curvy a piece is, the more cuts you probably need. Now, you can see by cutting, I can actually stretch this into a straight shape. So you've eased the fabric and made it more malleable without compromising your shape. Once again, you can trim the seam. If it's too thick, we're just going to try and turn this the right way and see what we end up with. So 
So we have it turned out. You can see this is, for instance, like an armhole or a neckline. Once again, you can see it's flat. And by trimming and clipping, we've essentially spread the fabric on the inside, as you can see, so it doesn't overlap. It doesn't form any gathers or lumps. Everything is flat and you have a nice, good curve. So that's how you handle curves whether they're inward curves or they're outward curves and that brings us to the end of the video so remember you can make practice sheets like this draw some curved lines draw some straight lines and practice practice making your corners practice sewing your curves you can make an inner curve you can make an outer curve and practice sewing it also practice trimming and clipping and making your notches and poking your kernels out like this just do a lot of practice, get yourself familiar with the techniques. These are basic things you do a lot when you're sewing, which is why I've introduced them now. You just get with the idea and also pressing. Whenever you sew, you press. In the next lesson, we're going to go into open seams, closed seams, and we'll do more of pressing your seams then because pressing is an integral part of sewing. So thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.